Free your spirit. Free your mind. Let your soul hear it. Your light will shine. Pastor A.D. Nichols, the ambassador of wisdom, is coming to you in just about 40 seconds. We're hoping that you will open up the mail that's about to be delivered. One of the hardest working women in gospel. That's Pastor A.V. Nichols, an outreach pastor, reaching out through Facebook, reaching out through every means necessary to turn you on to Jesus. So let's get ready. Take some minutes out of your day so the words of wisdom will make a better way. And now, Pastor Ava E. Nichols. Hello, welcome back. My name is Ava Nichols. Thank you so much for tuning in. We've been reading a psalm a day. I do encourage you to read the book of Psalms, the entire book of Psalms. Amen. Psalms is such a blessing. It's been a blessing to my life, and it will be the same for you as well. We've been, we're starting, uh, we've been reading on Psalm 119. That's the longest chapter in Psalms. And we've been we're breaking it out in several parts. We're on part 13 today. Amen. And David, he did read, he did write a majority of the Psalms. Moses wrote a few. I believe he maybe wrote one or two. And then they had several authors, different authors. But David, he did write majority uh, so, Moses, he wrote two, I believe, and then they had uh, Haggai, Zechariah, they wrote some as well, and uh, Korah and Solomon. But David, he wrote about uh, 73 psalms. Amen. We're going to start with, and, and David was, a, he was chosen of God, also he was a, a shepherd, and he did, he was a warrior, and also he did, he was a musician as well. He uh, taught himself his fighting. He developed his fighting skills, defending the sheep. Also, he did, uh, in his quieter times, he did teach himself the flute and the harp. Amen. And then he also, he, he joined forces with Saul, and he was a warrior. And he convinced Saul that he could defeat the Philistine. And that was the giant, you know, about Goliath and David. And so he did. And so, therefore... He had several successes defeating the Philistines, and, and then Saul become jealous of him, and unfortunately, and that forced David to become an outlaw. So David wrote a lot. He talked a lot to God, and he wrote uh, psalms that's full of poetry. Uh, the Hebrew psalms, uh, Hebrew poetry it doesn't rhyme, but there's also praises and songs in psalms. Psalms is beautiful. Amen. I do recommend you to read the entire book of Psalms and, and read the Bible as well daily. Uh, we're going to start with verse 128 and go forward. And it reads, Therefore I esteem all your pre precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. Your testimonies are wonderful. Therefore does my soul keep them? The entrance of your words give light. It, all, it gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and, pa and pant it, for I long for your commandments. Look you upon me and be merciful to me, as you used to do to those that love your name. Order my footsteps in your word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the oppression of man, so will I keep your precepts. Make your face to shine upon your servant, to teach me your statutes. Rivers of water run down my eyes, because they keep not your law. Righteous are you, O Lord, and upright are your judgments. Thank God for the blessed reading of the word of God. Amen. Amen. We're going to start with verse 128. And elaborate on the scriptures as much time as we have allowed. Amen. And it reads, Therefore I esteem all your precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. This is something that we should always remember. To esteem all God's ordinances. Love his 
commands more than gold. Amen. Excuse me. You need to respect all his commandments, all his ways, and um, always and keep his ordinances and hate lying ways. Amen. So hate every false way. Respect all God's orders and so you because and hate every false way. Amen. Verse 129. Your testimonies are wonderful. Therefore does my soul keep them. God's word is wonderful. His rules are wonderful. That is why we should keep them. Amen. We should obey his word. And if you don't know what the word of God is, you need to get in the word of God and find out what the word is to obey. Amen. And when you obey, that's putting it into application. You're applying the word to your daily life. 130. The, uh, the entrance of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. Even the simple can understand God's words. Amen. And when, when you learn his word, the word will give you wisdom and understanding, even for the simple, even for the foolish. Anyone can learn the word of God. Amen. Because it will give you understanding. And you can ask God for understanding. But the word of God, the more you renew your mind, the more you spend time with God, the more wisdom that you will receive. Amen? Because the word of God is wisdom. 131. I open my mouth and paint it for our long, pant it, I'm sorry, for our long for your commandments. This, keep in mind, the psalmist was, was tired. He was worn out. He was out of breath. But he still wanted to learn God's law. He really wanted to learn the commandments, the com his commands, God's commands. Amen. Even though he was out of breath, even though when he opened his mouth, he, he panted. 132. Look you upon me and, my mer and be merciful to me as you need to do the, to those that love your name. So he was asking God, Lord, Look at me and have mercy on me as you do for those who love you. See, you have to understand that David thought God had, had turned his back on him. A lot of, because he didn't understand what was going on, why he was running, why was this happening. He was chosen of God. He was anointed with oil. And he didn't understand why was this going on. So he said, Lord, look at me. And have mercy on me as you do for those who love me, who love you. Amen. And sometimes when you're going through some challenges, you feel sometimes maybe God has left you, but he hasn't. He's right there with you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. If David can keep pressing and keep uh, wanting to obey God and learn his rules and his commands, you can do the same. Amen. And even more. 133, order my steps in your word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. We should always want to have God order our, our steps, or establish our, our steps, guide our steps in his word. Amen. And don't let any sin control us. This is something that we should do. We should always want, we can ask the Lord, Lord, order my steps in your word. And let not any iniquity have any dominion over me. Any sin have any dominion over me. Establish my steps, Lord, in your word. Guide my steps as you promised. Amen. 134. Deliver me from the oppression of the man, of man, so will I keep your precepts. So, Lord, deliver me. From the oppression of people, of harmful people, so I can obey your orders. So keep me away from folks that, that that's no good, Lord. Save me. 
Keep me away from them, those that are harmful to me, so I can obey your orders. If you're around folks, how are you going to obey if they're, if they're living contrary to the word of God? Your, your mind, your focus is, is, is to, uh, to, to, to keep his precepts and his orders, to so obey God's orders and obey his, uh, keep his precepts, amen. 135, make your face to shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. Lord, show me your kindness. Show it to me, God. Show your kindness to me, your servant, and teach me your demands. And so this is something that we need to really learn and, and knowing I, that we can talk to God. We can talk to him. Sometimes it's best to talk to God than anyone else. Amen. I need your kindness, Lord. I need some help today, every day. Show me your kindness to me, your servant. Teach me your demands, Lord. Teach me your decrees. Teach me your statutes. Amen. 136. Rivers of water run down my eyes because they keep not your law. And so he was so, he was so upset and he was crying because people do not obey his teachings. He knew that because he wouldn't be in the mess that he is if, he, if, 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 if it wasn't that way. So he was very upset and he was in tears. 137, righteous are you, O Lord, and upright are your judgments. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. You need to repent. Let the Lord know you're sorry. Go to Romans 10, 9, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord. We'd like to thank you for paying attention because in a minute we won't be able to afford free speech. Ambassador Ava E. Nichols, Pastor A.V. Nichols of Body of Christ Outreach Ministry, we'd like to thank you for sharing this time with us. If you got any questions or if you need prayer, 702-505-9697. Yeah.